get the door open. It's a bit slippy. Go up! Go up! Got the crush set up the other side of the parlour here. Basically what we do is we run the cows through the milking parlour and then set the crush on the exit doorway there and we do that with all the cows and then all the rest of the stock we set up on this yard. We just find that the cows come through the parlour a little bit better than when we take them the other way. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn them notifications on. Back today, and I was planning on doing a video of us doing the TB testing. Now today is the first day of TB testing. For anyone that doesn't know, we do it over two days. So today is Monday, um, so we do the injections today, and then we do the reading on Thursday. Now, I was planning on doing a full video today on injecting, and then a full video on the reading on Thursday. Now, it's a little bit of a painful job, and it's difficult to sort of set cameras up and stuff. So I didn't actually film anything really of the TB testing, which is a bit of a shame, but it's a pretty difficult job and a job that no one really likes to do anyway. So by recording at the same time it makes it even more difficult. So I haven't actually recorded anything. Now I just, I've spoke about how we run the cows through the parlor. They went through really well. As anyone that milks cows know, they're used to going through the milking parlor. Now it's probably not the best idea because well, for one reason, there's a little bit of muck in here, so I've got to have a clean up. But for the reason that they come through the parlor better, it's less stressful for them as well. So that's one of the biggest reasons we do it this way. It's a lot less stressful on the cows. They're used to coming through the milking parlor, and they're also used to going through a crush by the doorway. When we put the cows through the foot bath, which we do twice a week, they go through a cattle crush, which a foot bath sits in by the doorway. So they're very used to it. The only thing that's different is they're not actually being milked, but the process of coming through here and out there is the same. They went through really well. So we'll just have a look at how we do the other stock. So the crush is set up behind me here on the other yard. This is where we move it to. Now, it takes us a couple of minutes just to move the crush around, but it makes the job a lot quicker. We sit the crush here. We've got a door just on that side to stop them coming through here. And then we've also got this gate here. I'll just swing this around if I can, like so. And then that goes against the crush like that. Now we chain it up there. And basically that creates a really good handling area for the cattle. One disadvantage of this handling area is it's a little bit enclosed. It's a little bit dangerous because up here, one of the problems we get, the cattle will push up this passageway and you'll find that they're quite difficult to get out. So sometimes we have to go round and come through that door. There is escape routes over the gate there. So we tend to sort of stay over that area. Obviously you're pushing the cattle in there anyway, so they go through. All the cattle have gone through really well today and we're just hoping now that we get a good day on Thursday when we do the readings. Everything crossed that we get no reactors or anything and we have a really good test. But only time will tell on that one. We've not actually had any cases of TB on the farm here for three years now. Four years ago we had um, a spout of five cows. Five cows went down, well there were five reactors, two of them coming back as having the lesions, the other three had nothing, which was a bit of a, it's a pain when you, when they come back, they've reacted, but they haven't actually got anything. But before that, we've had five clear tests. Now, our TB situation has been very good on the farm, apart from that one test, since we stopped growing maize. Now this could be linked. We believe it's linked. We believe that the maize used to bring a lot of badgers into the area. You would see a lot more badger activity around our area when we had the maize in the ground. Ever since then, we've not had as much trouble. If you look at the statistics, you put it down to the maize. Now, that was one of the biggest factors for stopping growing maize. Another reason was we weren't really getting the crops later on. The weather was making it harder work. And then there was the, the issue with harvesting it in the back end. Now, we do all our work ourselves, as you would have seen from the channel. We do all our own silage in, all our own combining plowing and sowing everything but maize drilling and harvesting we didn't do ourselves so we were relying on contractors 
As well as you've seen the setup on the yard, contractors want to turn up here at milking time, they can't do it. So it was more of a pain, it was costing us more to grow than what we were returning. So we decided, scrap the maize off, have a bit more grass, try and just make a bit, a bit better quality silage, but also supplement what the maize was giving us in the winter with a dairy blend, which we would put in the parlor, in the dairy cake, or in a blend in the feeder wagon. We haven't done the feeder wagon for a few years. My job now, it's currently, we started testing at half past nine, finished by 12 o'clock, so it didn't take too long. It's 10 to two now, so I've got the parlor to clean out. I've, it's Monday, so I've got the foot bath to set up, so I've also got some littering to do. So what I will probably do get on with these jobs we'll catch up again with putting the foot bath up i sort of want to keep you guys all updated with the jobs that we do and everyone knows tv testing is quite a big job so let's keep them crossed right let's get this gate open here oh, it's actually tied properly more let's just get the door open it's a bit slippy Oh yeah, we also had a cow decide to jump this gate earlier. We swung across the middle of the uh, yard there and bent the wheel a little bit. I'm holding the camera with one hand at the minute, so it's a little bit awkward. And we'll just swing this now into the wall by there. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, oh, is she get? Wow, that is, I'm very shocked by that. Usually the case see this door open, you ain't gonna stop them coming in, but that okay, kind then, she, she won fast. She was quite happy to carry on by. So now it's just a case of filling our foot bath up. So you'll get a pretty good idea of how this whole system works. We don't have any races or anything out on this yard. So this is the best way we found of setting the foot bath up. The cows have got no ever exit route out of the milking parlor. So you know that they'll have all walked through it. They'll all add a couple of steps in the foot bath. It's brilliant, it, it works really well. There we go, look. We've got a slight gap here, but the cows, you know, they're not gonna fit through there. They're not gonna fit through here as well. But there's more of a width there. Now what I used to do, that door there used to be up there, but it sort of pulled out a couple of weeks ago. I'd swing the door to there, but at the moment what I'm doing is the door off the front of this, crush, bring it across, tie it up. Just covers it over. There we go. That's filling. So usually the foot bath takes about 15 to 20 minutes to fill, depending on the water pressure. If the cows have been drinking, it takes a little bit longer. If nothing's been drinking and the pressure's right up, it's a little bit shorter. Relatively speaking, that's the time it takes. So I'll leave this now until it's around about three parts full and then we will put our chemical in. We'll have a look at the chemical we use whilst that's filling up. And that there is the product that we use, formulin. It's the most common foot bathing product you get. Now what I tend to do is mix this. I put about five to seven liters of the formulin into the foot bath, filling up nicely. Right, I'm holding this with one hand, which is really unwise. Go. Pour that in there, and then pour that in there as well. We don't want to waste any of this product. So I don't know how much of this people put in. I just put a sprinkler all the way along the line of the foot bath, something like that. This is thrilling viewing, watching someone turn a tap off. You don't see that on most channels. Right, I'll get all this lot fired up, and we'll see some cows going through that foot bath. Maybe a milking video one day. 
but just not yet. Right, this side here, we've just finished. So I'll come along now. Lovely. Spray these. I've just been getting the cows down the yard. These are ready to go. Let's jump up here. Come on, go eat. Not that. It works. It's a good system, really. Come on, go. see that it works the camera's died so i'm on my phone again but that's all for today i'd like to thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and also i have now got an instagram account so down below case.farms it is in in the description below i'll leave a link so i'd like to thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one